And that's such a devastating tragedy here and still no answers as to what exactly caused the crash. It's left the community shocked and quite frankly, a little afraid to be walking around this area. It's a very sad uh, day for Andover and um, we pray to God to give strength for the family. Today, flowers lie at the busy intersection where a six-year-old was struck and killed by a tractor trailer in Andover. Around 5.15 last night, police say a family was walking in the crosswalk at Elm and Main Streets when their child was struck. Several others were also crossing but were not hurt. Residents telling us how dangerous this intersection can be. There was a one time where I was walking in the middle of the street and some guy nearly hit me. I have a, um, a light to walk across the street and a car just is turning at the same time, so they definitely have to make some changes here. The victim's name has not been released. In an email to parents, the Andover School Superintendent said the child was not a student in the district. It's unclear what school the child attended. State police launching a drone above the scene as the investigation continues and as pedestrians take a little extra time to cross the street. I always wait until all the cars stop and then I cross with the baby. Also, it's good to have eye contact with the driver because you never trust uh, they're going to stop till you see them. It can get a little dicey here at times, so you have to be very, very careful. The driver did stay on scene and is cooperating with police. The driver's company, Cisco, says it also plans to do its own investigation into how this crash happened. Meanwhile, the district attorney's office has not released any additional information at this time. We're live in Andover. Brianna Borgi, WCVB News Center 5.